good morning all so here uh, we have to uh, do the development of this uh, hexagonal prism so it has cut as shown in figure we can see that with respect to it we have constructed it both top view and front view and notations also we have written now we have to draw the development for this okay first we draw an parallel line here after that uh, we will draw one uh, vertical line okay vertical line we draw here so vertical line after drawing it so it is hexagonal uh, prism so that means it has to be so set with the using offset command so i am going to construct it you can see this is cut so that means the front end top view will be given in the question so we need to draw only the development for this okay so vertical line drawn now using offset command i'll be offsetting this vertical line for a distance of uh, 20 mm there are total six faces i'll consider here okay six faces uh, we are considering it you can mention the naming uh, for it each of these vertical edges okay that is uh, capital a capital b capital c capital d capital d capital e capital f so mention e f and a and now we can uh, we have to mention this uh, cut points here so cut points uh, that is uh, with respect to the section plane we are mentioning 1 2 3 4 here so we have to draw an horizontal line say from this end and draw on horizontal line so that is our one so we get it on the vertical edge here that is one and one okay Same way, uh, so the projection of horizontal line from two till B, okay, that is your point number two. Okay, now projecting the point number three horizontally till the vertical edge C here. Okay. now point number 4 exactly falling on the corner point of the vertical edge d here so we can mention that is 4 here and uh, point number 5 it is the extension of the point number 3 so we have to extend that uh, vertical line sorry horizontal line from that point 3 till the vertical edge g here so that is your point number 5 okay now the same way we have extended the 2 to get the 6 here so actually at the vertical edge it has to be a 1 so you can change it so now i am rewriting it correctly so that is our point number 5 okay and that is point number 6 and now here we are getting the point number 1 here okay now the same way for the bottom faces also we have to draw an horizontal line here okay you can see that uh, the point number 7 on the vertical edge vertical edge it is uh, having on the b here can see that okay so point number 7 we are getting on a vertical edge b here so that is your point number 7 
and point number 8 uh, you get it on the vertical edge of C here it is falling on the same vertical edge C ok and point number 9 is on the same uh, vertical line 1 here so we can draw an horizontal line or we can show it on the horizontal line of 1 so I will be drawing it so that it will be convenient that it will not get confused here ok that is point number 9 in the same way we have to mention the point number 10 point number 10 falling on the vertical edge E here ok Uh, point number uh, 11 we get it on a vertical edge this is 7 here so just I am uh, projecting uh, using extend to next command I am getting that point ok So that is your point number 10 here and using extend to next we get the point number 11 also ok that is your point number 11 So now we can join all these uh, points, all these points with the straight line. You can try to connect it. Okay. You can zoom in and connect. Okay, zoom in and get the exact point here for that you can zoom zoom ok zoom in zoom out you will get the exact points here ok now it is connected you can see that now the uh, the only the cutted part we have to make it dark then the other part we have to make it thin so for that uh, we will be using split command by selecting it uh, we are going to make those lines as uh, thin lines here ok using the split command we can show the remaining part in a thin lines So you can select those lines and make it uh, thin here. So you can subscribe for the channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notification of this uh, engineering visualization subject and share it to the maximum students so that they can be benefited. Hit, uh, hit the like button and share it to the maximum students so that they can be benefited so by selecting it uh, we are making this as a thin line ok so you can see that this completes the problem here